Hey, how's it going? It's me, Hayden, here filming another music tutorial for Phoenix Music. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make like tech house, key house kind of vocals. Um, so uh, yeah, if you find anything in today's tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, drop a like down below, feel free to suggest a music production tutorial in the comments, and share this video if you have any producer friends. Okay, so let's uh, begin. So first thing I'm going to want to do is record like some kind of short rap vocal phrase kind of thing. Like I've already recorded one and it sounds like this. Make it rap now. Make it rap now. So I didn't do it with a fancy microphone or anything. I just did it with the voice recorder on my phone. Which I think is actually better. Which is uh, a weird thing to say. But um, Treehouse vocals are usually a bit messy in quality, but that's what the like sound is kind of known for, I guess. So uh, using your uh, phone voice recorder is perfectly fine. Obviously, if you're doing like a proper like uh, a cappella recording, like uh, harmonies and all that, you would want to use a proper condenser mic. But just for a little uh, rap vocal thing like this, yeah, just use your phone. <laughs> so, um, now what we're going to want to do, well, there's several things we could do, I guess. One thing is to just uh, pitch it down. So, there, it's now four semitones down. Make it grab now. Make it grab now. Or you could go even lower if you want. Make it grab now. Make it grab now. Like that. Uh, I don't really want to use that technique, uh, that's a very beginner level technique. Don't get me wrong, it still works in some cases, but there's other things we can do. So one of the things I'm going to do is add a vocoder, but I'm not actually going to do the whole vocoder kind of sound thing that you've probably heard. Instead, we now have this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix that like uh with uh like hiss sound with the actual vocals now we have something like make it grab now make it grab now so already that's made it sound a bit cooler make it grab now make it grab now and also remove a bit of the low end like this on the uh, hissy sound make it grab now um make it grab now so yeah we'll freeze this um, then, so now we froze it. Make it grab now. That's, that, uh, plug-in is now, uh, converted into the audio. Um, so what we could also do is maybe add a bit of EQ. Make it grab now. Make it grab now. Make it grab now. Make it grab now. Something like that. Freeze it down again. Um, so now we have. Make it grab now. Which is already starting to sound interesting. You could, if you wanted to, keep it like that. Or maybe now you've got the vocoder on it, maybe now try pitching it. Make it grab now. Make it grab now. Uh, I'm still not going to do the uh, lower in the semitones thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a grain delay like this make it grab now and I'll just kind of show you what that does if I quickly put the vocal on loop make it grab now 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 make it grab now, make it grab now. So yeah, lots of interesting things you can do with this. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a nice sweet spot. Make it grab now. Make it, make it, make it grab now. Make it grab now. Make it grab. Make it grab now. 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 Make it. Make it grab now. Make it grab now. I like it there. So we'll 
uh, freeze this. But what we'll have to do now is we'll have to move the vocal back in time because the grain delay usually m moves things slightly forward uh, for some reason, probably because it's to do with the fact that it's a delay, but um, yeah. Make it drop now! Make it drop now! So yeah, that's the vocal. So that's perfectly fine like that for a vocal shout. You can keep it like this if you want. But what I'm going to do is show you some other things you can do. So um, what I'm going to show you is if we take a word like this, then we can put it here. And now let's loop it a few times like this. We'll get faster as we progress. So now we'll just do it like that. And now we have this. Um, so this would be for a build up. But then if we add the grain delay again. Now let's do some automation. So now we can kind of do something like this. Yeah. And then also do some automation on this one as well. Just a little bit like that. That's a bit too much in the second one. That one here should be good. Yeah, like that. And then just to finish it off, we'll uh, build the vocal up. So, start about here. Actually, we'll do the automation after we uh, freeze the um, what we've already made. So, like that. Then we move it back. Then we'll just consolidate that. So now we have this uh, frozen. Then we can do the automation. So the automation isn't too complex. I'm just going to be starting it off muffled and then fading it in like this. So just like that. And then I'm also going to add a reverb automation as well just because why not <laughs> so we'll build the we'll start about here and we'll get to about here and up to about here and then go a little bit higher to here and then we'll also automate the decay time to also get more intense Yeah, but we don't need all that tail, so that can just kind of fade down like this. Yeah. And then 
if we put this vocal down here. Make it drop now. Keep that little bit on the end. Make it drop now. Yeah. So if I quickly get a snare build. This is one I made the other day. Bring it down a bit. Make it drop now. And that's where your drop would come in. So um yeah, that's how it'd make like a tech house, glue house kind of vocal. Um other digital audio workstations like FL Studio and things might have a variation of the grain delay uh, some might not have it at all and you might have to download a uh, plugin but um, yeah and that's basically how you'd make that kind of vocal so uh, if you want to make a vocal like this now you know how um, so if you found anything today's tutorial helpful don't forget to hit that subscribe button drop a like down below Feel free to suggest a music production tutorial in the comments and share this video if you have any producer friends. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.